Good morning. We're going to take a look at a little things a slightly different this morning. Um, <coughs> excuse me. We're going to look at Bitcoin. And <coughs> you can see Bitcoin really wasn't doing much before here. You can see that we just sort of few dodgy prices. So we're not going to have a look at that. What we're going to do is we're going to take Bitcoin from here because that really was when people started to take notice of it. Oh, they actually started taking notice of it when it was up here. But you see how it gently rose and we hit just under the $20, $20,000 and down we came. Now, this is the weekly chart of the Bitcoin and you can see, I'll show you daily, but if you look at Bitcoin strength, 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 You've had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine weeks of making a pennant. Now, these pennants are this. You draw the line to there. And then you take another line up there. Okay, so these lines that I'm drawing on the weekly chart is where the Bitcoin ranges. Now, this is the apex of the pennant so for bitcoin to keep going higher it needs to break out of that pennant and it's got to do it within two weeks if it doesn't then we could be looking at a false break either way either on the downside or the top side so let's look at what bitcoin's done on that pullback there weekly what can we see in this chart that is going to help us negotiate Bitcoin's very volatile, um, or can be volatile, ranges. Well, let's do that again. So we're going to take the Fib, and we're going to put it from here, where we first started going up, to the top of the recent high. I've got that line in, and now we want to put this one in okay so the two levels that you're looking at on bitcoin there's the apex we've got to break out in the next two weeks we go to the apex of a pattern it's not a pattern okay the idea of these pennants after such a move is the fact that they come back they consolidate and then they break so on the downside you have this lower trend line coming in at 93.26. You can see that the 21 week moving average is at 94.06. And on the top side, you have this area here, which is 11.61. You've got the 23.6 at 11.43. So really wide ranges, but this looks like it's consolidating to make a break higher. We can do the measure targets if you like. So what we do, as this is a consolidation bullish pattern within this move here, this is the break point. So what you do is you look at the break point here and that intersects with the 23.6. So let's say the break point is 11.433. Now from the high of this bit here okay there that is one thirteen thousand seven hundred and sixty four so the amount of points that that high here to the low is here is one oh four eight seven so the break point is one one four three three so you just put one one four three three plus 10487 which gives you 21,920 target okay now if we looked at that made that move in a year you would be looking at a six month move to that 21920 target that's the way that the measured targets work obviously if we're still dicking around here and we don't break and we make a break lower I think that's a false break and what will happen is 
the market will have gone in the direction that it should have gone in the first place. So that's the weekly chart, just to give you an idea of what Bitcoin's all about. Now we can filter it through to the daily. So on the daily, this whole pattern here, all of it, okay, is what we just saw on the weekly. It's the same thing, that is just that consolidation phase. Now, if you look at the fibs, when we took this from here up to here, we've come down basically to the 50% fib and double based. The price here was 90, 9101 and the fib was 9025. Obviously with Bitcoin, you can't leave a 10 tick stop. So just bear that in mind because that is gonna be very important. Now the weekly charts are oversold and looking to trade higher. So what you need to do is look at that weekly chart, look at the daily, we topped, yeah, from like, only had a little move up, so we're still within this bullish pattern. Keep your eyes on it, the weeklies are down here somewhere, wait till this starts to turn, or we break out on the top side. If we do that, we break that top side, then obviously Bitcoin's gonna be up, up and away for the next six months. Hope this has been helpful. Catch you on the desk later.